If you'd like to learn how to use the tween service on Roblox, keep watching this video. First, we're going to insert a part. So go ahead and go over to the home tab and insert a part. It should automatically be anchored. If it's not, then just go ahead and anchor it. And now I'm just going to resize it to be like a little square. And then I'm just going to raise it in the air. Change its color to whatever you'd like. And basically what the tween service is going to allow us to do is to change properties of the part kind of like an animation so it'll slowly or f fast even if you want it to um, it will go from the original position this current state to whatever information you give it so now we're going to insert a regular script into our part and we're going to create a couple variables the first one is going to be tween service and we're going to do game get service tween service like that after that, we're going to create a variable for our part. So script.parent is going to be for part. And then we're going to create another variable, which will stand for our tween info. So put tween information equals tween info dot new, and then put a parenthesis and then press enter. It'll auto complete with another parenthesis. So do not put another one up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to type out the information we want our tween to do or well not what to do but um the settings of the tween so for example the first value is going to be time so how long it's going to take so let's say it's going to take one second so we're gonna put our comment and after each value make sure you put a comma and then the next one is easing style and it's an enum value. So we're going to do enum dot easing style dot linear or any of styles that you want. There's a full list. If you put dot there's here and each one has a different sort of animation. And I like linear, especially for doors or whatever. That's fine. So we're going to put that and then this is using style so we're going to put that and then we're going to make sure there's a comma after um, linear and then the next value is our easing direction which again we're going to it's going to be an enum value so enum dot easing direction and then put in out or in out um and these change up how the animation flows so it's more of like in would be it starts to slow down as the animation ends out would be it speeds up when the animation ends and usually this is more of like if you're having a part move up down to the side or something in this case we're just making a part get bigger and move a little bit to the side but it just changes the way the animation flows and that is easing direction and then next we have the number of times it repeats and i'm going to repeat it three times number of times it repeats and then our next value is if the animation is going to revert or the tween so if you want a door to go up you can have it come back down but i wouldn't recommend doing true here because it would instantly come down you cannot add a weight after it so i would recommend doing two separate tweens which i'll talk about in a second so after false or your value we're going to put a comma and this is if it reverts and then our last value does not need a comma but it's going to be the the delay time so from the time you start the animation how long it takes to actually play so we're going to put zero seconds and like i said do not put a comma after the last value or you will get an error all right and now here's the important part which is going to be part info info and this is actually going to be a table so you're going to want to use the little squiggly brackets here and you can do that by pressing the keys next to p on a us keyboard and shift so instead of putting this a regular bracket you're putting the squiggly brackets like that 
and then again you're going to go inside and just press enter like this press it a couple times and inside of here is where we're going to put the information for what we want to happen to our part so what we're going to do i'm going to go down here a bit the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the size and this does not have to go in any particular order as long as the words and information is correct then the script will catch on but the first thing we can do and you can do any property so the first thing we're going to do is size and since size is a vector 3 value we're going to do vector 3 dot new so we're going to change it to a 25 by 25 by 25 cube and then after that actually we're going to put a semicolon after that um, just like the commas up here but we're doing with a semicolon since we have a actual array and then inside of here we're going to do color equals let's see color three dot you could do um new like that or you can do from rgb or from hsv i recommend doing rgb because it's easier um so if you go over here you can just either get these values if you use dot new it's easy to just pick a color from here copy it and paste it in here um since this is a just color three value but you can use the other options if you'd like so then we're going to put another semicolon and then just for the sake of this video if you guys want to move a part you can do c frame i thought it was position but it's actually c frame so we're going to change the c frame to say we want the part to move four studs in a direction so the front face of the block is going to move in that direction four times so this is extra code um, so part dot c frame um, plus part dot c frame dot look vector I won't go too much into this but basically this is going to move our part four studs um, in the direction it's facing and that should be all you do not have to put a semicolon at the end of this and then the last thing we're going to do is actually create our tween. So what we're going to do is we're going to type local tween equals tween service create. And then inside of these parentheses, we're going to put all of our information. So the first variable or first value is going to be what we want the tween to affect. And that's going to be part. And we already made a variable for that. And then the next one is tween information. And then part info like that so that should be everything and then this oops whatever script you put this in all of this should be basically near the top and whatever you want to happen before or for the part to run to actually start the tween you do tween play like this so you can put it in any type of function you want, but we're just going to play it like this once the game has started. And you know, what? I'm gonna bump the number of times it repeats to five and we're gonna have it revert because that's what I want to happen. So if we hit run, our part is just going to open and close. And I can see that there's like a, a little bug. This was happening to me. This is why I prefer um, color three from RGB. Um, and then I can just put 255 and then this will be from this should actually work with this better so I recommend putting from RGB we can hit play and it'll be fine so it's going from crimson to really red so that is the tween service and it ran five times and reverted each time we could if we didn't it would look something like this it would just go back down teleport instead of reverting back so this won't be as long as the other ones so this will go boom 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 and the other one will go like back forth back and forth it'll just be longer if you decide to revert it so if you do make this true this time will not equal it this will equal how long it takes to do it and also to revert so your time will be doubled so if you want it to be the same time just cut it in half 
but that is everything that you need to know for the tween service so if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this is me signing off and as always keep on scripting